Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and analyze a game that was played between Aviation 18, rated 745 against um, Zarlito. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. We did 661. So let's get started. This game um, is 73 moves long, so it's pretty long, but let's, let's go ahead. Um, Aviation 18 started out with D4 and then E6. This is a good start. You want to have at least um, one pawn in the center. Knight out, good move. Knight goes there. Um, I think this is okay. If I was black, I would probably move the pawn to d5, um, so you get a pawn in the center. But, okay, knight goes there. Okay, uh, bishop goes there. Pawn goes there. I would probably maybe move this bishop here, um, um, because, um, notice that when he moved the pawn to f6, notice that the um king's diagonal it is open. Um, and I'm not a big fan of that, but okay. Pawn to f6, and then aviation um, 18 moved the bishop back to e3. I do not like this move because notice that the pawn on e2, it cannot move. So in this position, I would probably um, move the bishop to f4 or bishop to h4. So this pawn um, can go to e4, okay? So, since the bishop goes here, this pawn cannot move. Okay, moving forward. Um, pawn goes there. Takes. Takes. Okay. And really, in this position, I really want to move the pawn to um, e4. But the bishop is on e3, so that's not too good. See? He even moved the bishop again. Okay. Bishop goes there. Take. Take. Let's move the pawn up. Okay. I am not too sure um, why um, he did this um, because this is just a pawn on the side. I noticed that the queen can also go um, to b4 and check. So I think in this position, I would probably maybe go um, c3 um, in this position. That's what I would probably do right now. Um, okay, and then let's see. Knight goes there. Okay. Safe. Okay. And then... So the knight right now, it's attacking the queen. And then the queen um, goes here. And now the queen can safely take this rook. I think in this position, what I would probably do is I would probably maybe move the knight out to um, c3. So the queen... Um, cannot capture the pawn on b2. That's what I would um, probably do. And notice that both knights are attacking the pawn on e4. Okay, so knight takes um, pawn, queen takes, and then this is um, this is a good move um, because um, now the queen is protecting the rook. Okay, that makes sense. And then knight goes there. Okay, what do we what does white do? He goes there. Ooh, I do not like this move. So you want to always ask, can my opponent safely capture a piece? And notice that this knight um, is threatening to take the pawn on um, c2. And that would not be good for white. So in this position, I would really just move the rook over to c1. So now both rook and queen are protecting the pawn on c2. Um, so let's see what happens. Knight takes pawn, it's checking the king, and also attacking the rook too. Um, the king goes here, and this is getting pretty painful for white. Okay, um, this is a discovered attack. Um, this is not good for white right now. Okay, so king goes there. Um, knight goes there, and this king is wide open right now. Yikes. Okay, this is very awkward. Okay. Um, queen takes pawn. Um, okay. I mean, sure, why not? Queen goes there. And then um, black is getting aggressive. Pawn's attacking the knight. Let's see what happens. Um, ooh. 
I do not like this move at all. So the problem right now is the pawn is attacking the knight. It's not safe for the queen to capture the pawn um, because of the queen. Because the queen's protecting the pawn. Once the... Well, actually, I don't know. Maybe this is this is getting very difficult. Okay, okay. So queen um is checking the king. Um, pawn goes there. Okay, to stop and then, whoa! What is going on? Um, this knight is being attacked. This queen is being attacked. I think maybe, um, knight um to d six to check the king. And if the king does go here. Then maybe the queen should go here. So now both um pieces are being um or um both pieces um are safe. But this is very um this is not good. Um I don't really understand why um he moved this knight here. He should have just um taken the knight, but instead he moved the knight there. Okay, queen goes there. And then I still don't understand why can't the pawn just take the knight right now. But okay. But instead he goes there. Okay, so knight goes there. Um, this is crazy. Like this king is out and open. This king is wide open. <laughs> this is a crazy game. Okay, so knight um, goes there. And then the rook takes it. Oh, so the rook goes there. Okay. Check. Okay, king goes there. Queen goes there. Okay, king goes there. And then this is crazy because white took the bishop, but we're actually looking for a checkmate. Um, white actually um, missed the checkmate. Do you see the checkmate? The checkmate is actually pawn um, to h5 checkmate. So you need to um, always consider all checks and captures. The pawn should just go here and do the checkmate. Okay, um, knight goes there. Um, knight goes there. Okay. This is still really crazy. Um, knight goes there and checks. Okay. And then what happens now? Okay. Um, yeah, so the problem, I think the, I think what need, needs to happen right now is this king is wide open. Um, but I think white really needs to just move this, um, pawn up. And do um a pawn fork that would be really good. The problem with this move is it checks the king, but now um black um can move the knight here, and now um um white's king is in check. Um king goes there, and then yikes, this is getting pretty painful for um white right now. King goes there, queen goes there. And I think um in this position, what I would probably do is um maybe moving the pawn to um g three. I think that might be okay too. Um, but he goes there, queen goes there. Okay, so it's attacking the knight. Um. Yeah, I think right now is. I think. I think the I think um I think this pawn um should go to on uh, G four and check, um, because this knight is pinned. So if the rook, if the rook does take it, then the knight can just take it back, and I think that that looks good for um white, um. But pawn goes there, um, and this is not good for white right now, um. Okay, so queen takes. And then I'm trying to figure out what was the idea of um taking the um, pawn. Okay, pawn goes there. Okay, so check. Oh my gosh, this is looking very uncomfortable for Pag. Oh my gosh, this is a night fork. Okay, so you always want to ask, like, if I move here, is it safe? I think in this position... I think maybe it would be better if the king went um, here. I think that might be better. 
but okay. But that white white's in a big um white's in big trouble right now. Okay, so oh my gosh, what's going on? Okay, um, this is a crazy game. Um, Black just moved here, and it's a um knight fork. The knight um is attacking the queen and the king at the same time. So once white gets out of the check, um black should have really captured the queen because the queen's the most powerful piece. But instead, the knight just took the bishop instead. <laughs> okay, this is kind of funny. It's next time, take the queen instead, or you know what? Better yet, just take this pawn with the queen. Okay, there's like. Yeah, I would I would definitely um take the pawn with the queen, and if bishop takes, so the queen bishop goes here, and then this would be a checkmate. Um, so um black missed some winning opportunities here. Okay, what happens now? And then do we check? No. Okay, look, um when you're playing chess, you want to um take the pawn, um with the queen. Because the queen is the most um, powerful piece, so queen takes pawn, and then um, that would be a checkmate. But instead, he took um, the pawn with the wrong piece, which was um, the knight. Okay. Um, so again, oftentimes, again, is when you capture a piece, most likely you want to take the piece um, with the queen, um, because the queen is the most powerful piece. Okay. Queen goes there, king goes there, and then this is getting pretty crazy. Um, again, is we okay? One general rule is you want to move the queen as close as possible to the king. Instead, um, he took um the pawn with the knight. Not that's not very good. The queen wants to get closer, so the best move is. Let's go, queen takes pawn, and then once this king goes here, then the black rook can go here, and then that would be checkmate. So that's what you want to do, is if you're in a winning position, you want to try to move the queen as close as possible to your opponent's king, and it should, it should try to do it with check. Okay, so knight goes there, rook goes, okay, so the queen goes there, king goes there, and then... Oh my gosh, what is going on? Um, okay, so it goes there. Okay, knight, and then this is still crazy. Um, pawn goes there. Okay, and now, um, can't we just see? I don't understand this. You wanna like you wanna always like ask like if I move here like. Can, can I say they capture a piece? The queen could should have just taken this rug, right? It's safe. But instead he moved this pawn here. Oops. Okay. Um queen goes there. Okay, that's good. And then check. Okay. And then oh my gosh. Shoot, the pawn just got lost. Okay. You know, I th I I think maybe it would be better to maybe um maybe maybe take this pawn with check. That looks a lot better right now. But instead, he goes here. Um. Yeah, this is crazy. Oh no. Yeah. Um. Oh gosh. Um. Yeah. The pawn just got lost. Okay. Um, yikes. This is a crazy game. Um, queen check. Check. That's good. And then what happens now? Oh, so this is a big mistake. Okay. So, when you play chess, you want to consider all checks. Notice the king and queen. They're all on the same line. And if that's the case, you want to um, move the queen on the same line as the king and the queen. So this is going to be a skewer. So once this king um, moves, then the queen can just take the queen and then the white is winning. Um, so in this position, um, 
Aviation 18 moved here. This is the um, wrong check. Because Aviation 18 should have gone A4 or um, B4 to do the skewer. Um, King goes there. And then this should be um, a draw. Oopsie. Okay, so White um, finally does the skewer. skewer. Um, Zach uh, made a mistake because um, there's not a lot of pieces on the board. And because of that, you do not want to move the King on the same line as your Queen if it's two squares apart because then White can just do a skewer. So in this position, um, this would be an easy draw if the King um, can just go to F5 or um, E6, um, that would be good. Notice that King to F6, this would also be a big mistake because the King and Queen, they're on the same diagonal. So the Queen can go here and then that would be um, a skewer, right? Um, so um, what happened was um, Queen, Queen goes there, King goes there, Queen goes there, and then, okay, and then this is good. And Aviation 18 is um, in a winning position, so that's very really good. And let's see if White um, can um, finish back off. So this is looking good. Let's see what happens. Okay, yep. If the king is on the edge, you want to trap the king on the edge. So moving the queen to b5 is good. Um, king goes to a8. Um, not necessary to do that. In this position, you simply just move the king um, to c7. And then it's going to be checkmate on the very next move. So this is um, not necessary. King goes there. Okay, this is not good. The king is already trapped on the edge. In this position, you simply just move the king over. So this is not good. This is not a good move. Now he has to move the queen again. Um, if the king moves here, then it's going to be stalemate. So he moves here again. I don't like this move. The queen should simply just move to um, one of these squares and then move the king um, to c6 or b6 to do the checkmate. Um, so queen goes to c5, king goes there. Oh no, this is not good. Just simply, like, yeah, okay, so king goes there. And then let's go, okay, again, what I would probably, okay, well, okay, let's see what happens. Um, so queen checks king, go, king goes there. Um, okay, he goes there, and then, okay, we finally did, um, a checkmate. Cool. Um, let me know what you thought about this video by commenting below, and if you want your chess game to be analyzed by me, let me know. Ideally, um, your rating should be below 800 or 1000, and like watching my videos, I do invite you to subscribe to my channel if you have not done that already. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.